Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to ask you in the beginning with a question. What is your favorite breakfast? Why? Because I'm going to share with you what is the most favorite breakfast in Dubai that might be your new favorite breakfast. Along with that, I'm going to share with you tips and tricks how to make homemade pita bread that is going to be the best combination of the most favorite breakfast in Dubai. What is that? Name is Shak Shubai. I'm going to share with you. Please try it out at home and let me know how it works with you. Let's do it. Great. Now I'm going to tell you the recipe of the pita bread. Flour, salt, sugar, instant yeast, unsalted butter, water. That's the main ingredients to make pita bread. Now I'm going to explain to you the step to mix the dough. The first sugar and yeast to combine together. You put into the flour and you add the salt. Put separate with the place that you put yeast and sugar. And the next you add butter. And last you add water into it. We're gonna mix the dough with the hook. So now we're gonna mix the dough. In the first three minutes, we're gonna put the dough into slow speed. And then we're gonna jump into the medium speed for the next three minutes. And then we're gonna jump into the highest speed. Until there is no dough stick on the side of the bowl. Let's do it. Alright, when you see all the dough are already mixed together, and the dough is already elastic like this, we're gonna stop the machine. Great! Now we're gonna scale each of dough, it has to be 60 grams. Perfect! From here, we're gonna roll the dough. I'm gonna show you how to roll the dough. You're gonna take the dough, get your hand. And we're gonna roll the dough. Here we go. You'll have nice round. I'm gonna show you again. Now you can use your two hands also. Yeah. So we have seven bowl of the dough now and we're gonna rest approximately around 30 to 40 minutes depending on the room temperature. So while we're waiting the dough of pizza bread to be rest, I'm going to start to prepare the shakshuka. Sugar finish, in the same time, the bread also will finish. Let's go. Excellent. Now I'm gonna tell you the ingredients and the recipe of saksuka. Tomato, red bell pepper, red onion, garlic, eggs, coriander leaf, avocado. As I love chili, I'm gonna put green chili into it. The spices, cumin powder, paprika powder, chili powder, and we're gonna use extra virgin olive oil. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're gonna start by chop the garlic. We cut into julienne and we're gonna cut into small dice. Alright, next is tomato. I'm gonna remove the center part a bit. Like this. And I'm gonna slice. Alright, I'm gonna cut the same. I'm gonna make small dice as well. Now I'm gonna slice some chili. Great! Now, we're gonna pour the olive oil. Let's be generous with olive oil. It's nice. Make a medium heat and we're gonna add salt into it. We're gonna add some garlic, stir a bit. We're gonna add onion.
Look at that. And we're gonna add. Look, beautiful. If you are here, you're gonna feel the smell of the onion, garlic, and bell pepper. It's just good. You get the baking pepper. You make round. You make hole in the middle to make the circulation of the air. But in the same time, to make the bell pepper and the onion get the nice flavor inside. We're gonna leave it until the bell pepper is cooked properly. Now we get the bell pepper is already cooked, I guess. Ooh. Beautiful. Yeah. It's some onion, it's caramelized, it's fine. It's gonna be nice. And we're gonna add the tomato. Well, we're gonna mix. We're gonna give some spices: chili powder, cumin powder, paprika powder, sugar, salt, pepper. We're gonna mix. Really nice. We're gonna add a little bit of water. Look at that. Simple and beautiful. We're gonna reduce again. We're gonna cover back with the pepper. Let it reduce again to get a nice flavor. Alright, great. We're gonna open the pepper now. Okay, and we're gonna let it to get reduced. Well, uh, look at that. It's really beautiful saksuka. Alright, we're gonna add some coriander on it. We're gonna switch off the fire. And we're gonna set aside. Lovely. We're gonna get the dough that already uh, rice. Look how beautiful the dough now. Yeah. We're gonna get some flour. Yeah. All right. We're gonna press it inside of the dough. All right. This process must be quick because we don't want the dough to be dry. Before you put the flour into the dough, make sure that your oven is already on into 200 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna roll the dough, we're gonna make it flat the dough. Right? So we'll do this. We'll make it round shape. Not too much thin, just good enough. Voila. Okay. It's beautiful. It's thin. Thin dough. And run. We're gonna put in our tray, prepare your baking tray as well. Same things with this. Right. And clean a bit the flour because we don't want too much flour on the dough. Yeah. Okay. Gonna place Look at that. What a beautiful pita bread. All right, that's our pita bread. What a lovely bread, soft, light. Just love it. You have to try.
Enjoy the city and let me know. All right. This is now how we're gonna finish the sakshuka. We're gonna add. Are you going to the pan? All right. We're gonna put sakshuka. Absolutely beautiful. The smell it was amazing. And we're gonna add fix. Well, we're gonna poach the egg with the sakshuka sauce. Get a bit salt. This. All right, look at that. The egg is start to be poached and cook with the sakshuka sauce. It's gonna be yummy breakfast. That's a beautiful process how to make shakshuka and also pita bread. Please try it out at home. Now I'm gonna show you how to enjoy the food. This is the way how we're gonna enjoy the sakshuka. some piece of coriander some beautiful fried avocado So this is how we're gonna enjoy the sakshuka. Let's try. Enjoy. Now I'm gonna really try the dish. Let's try this. The flavor of the cumin, onion, and bell pepper has really become the best combination. We can eat with this bread this is how we are gonna eat some pieces of avocado this. beautiful it will not enough maybe I need to make one more portion like this absolutely beautiful it's absolutely amazing the bread is soft the sakshuka is very delicious it's healthy breakfast by the way 